Hello, this is Nasir and uh, today in this video I am going to show you how to install WordPress on a cloud hosting service provider or a cloud hosting service. Uh, you know the cloud hosting is becoming so popular these days. Everybody is trying to migrate their website or blog to cloud because of the faster, reliable and uh, better services that you know you can get from a cloud hosting as compared to a normal or standard shared hosting services uh, in this video we will show you how to install WordPress or any such uh, content management software uh, which are like Magento open card uh, on different cloud hosting services uh, uh, provider which could be which are you know uh, Vulture, DigitalOcean uh, Atlantic.net, Lenore, these are few major very famous cloud hosting service providers so in the beginning of this video I would also walk you through a few slides uh, which will describe uh, about the cloud computing what cloud computing is and what cloud hosting is how cloud hosting is different from shared hosting why people are you know preferring cloud hosting over shared or dedicated hosting so uh, let's go through the slides first and then uh, we'll get into the uh, installation part uh, let me open these slides so as per the slide the cloud hosting uh, this is the uh, primary topic cloud hosting and how to install WordPress or host a website on Vulture, Atlantic.net or Linode uh, these are few major uh, cloud hosting service providers so after going through this tutorial you will be able to answer following questions so what is cloud computing what is cloud hosting how cloud computing is different from a standard shared uh, or dedicated hosting uh, it should be cloud uh, hosting so cloud hosting is different from shared host, uh, hosting and dedicated hosting and what are the benefits of cloud computing or cloud hosting how to deploy a server and run your app such as WordPress or Magento on Vulture or Atlantic.net cloud hosting now cloud computing uh, cloud computing is uh, the on-demand delivery of computing services uh, which could be software servers uh, storage databases networking analytics and more uh, over the internet uh, which could be termed as cloud uh, the major reason uh, why it is uh, you know very famous is because it's a uh, pay-as-you-go service so it totally uh, managed uh, with pay-as-you-go pricing and companies offering these computing services are called uh, uh, cloud com providers and uh, typically charge for cloud computing services based on usage similarly to uh, you know similar to how you are billed for water or, or electricity at home uh, cloud computing refers to a vast number of services uh, their cloud uh, uh, there could be multiple things that you do every day and that relies heavily on uh, cloud computing such as Gmail photo sharing and uploading website uh, even Facebook online news portal like uh, New York Times uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix uh, for watching movies and TV shows uh, and some web 2.0 sites like blogger and uh, free wordpress.com website or Kinja and several other such websites uh, they all are powered by cloud computing services okay, let's move on to the next one uh, cloud services uh, cloud computing services cover a vast range of options now from the basic so of a storage networking and processing power uh, through natural uh, language processing and artificial intelligence as well as a standard office application so it's not just web hosting or video streaming services there are there are a lot of uh, services that are powered by cloud computing uh, it could be natural language processing uh, like Alexa uh, from Amazon and uh, OK Google or uh, maybe Siri from Apple they all are powered by cloud computing and uh, that could be artificial intelligence uh, standard office application like uh, Google Docs uh, Microsoft uh, uh, provide different services uh, Microsoft 360 which is totally uh, powered through Microsoft's cloud computing 
Now, cloud computing can be used for following purposes. Uh, these are a few major. There could be numerous purposes, but these are major purposes. Create uh, new apps and services, uh, store, backup, and recover data. Host websites and blogs, stream audio and video, deliver software on demand, analyze data for pattern, and make predictions. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be focusing on cloud hosting, which is one of the majorly used cloud computing services used by various uh, small to large scale organizations. Okay, so now what cloud hosting is? Cloud hosting is the latest form of hosting and is an alternative to hosting websites on a single server, either dedicated or shared server so it used to be a single server uh, which has a uh, hard drive processor and memory attached to it so it's one particular server where we used to host our website and uh, it has become extremely popular over the past few years the main concept of cloud hosting is divide and rule so the resources required for maintaining your website are spread across a cluster of servers so uh, the major re difference in cloud hosting is that we are not using one particular physical server rather we are using a combination of physical server and they are clustered together in such a way that they are treated as one single one single server so the resources required to maintaining your website and uh, are spread across a cluster of servers that work together termed as the cloud this greatly reduces chances of any downtime in case of a server malfunction because each website is mirrored or hosted on multiple servers thus cloud hosting as an is an extensive underlying network of physical web servers so basically in cloud hosting we have uh, uh, several different physical servers uh, working in the back end and they all are termed as a uh, single server uh, through the cluster uh, by using some software or hardware you know and also there are a few server which are used for mirroring so all of the data that you have in the cluster are mirrored on one another servers just in case uh, the cluster is malfunctioning or one of the server is down or you know crashed the data is uh, still available and can be retrieved from the uh, mirrored servers so this is the biggest benefit of using a cloud hosting services uh, but cloud hosting could have different uh, uh, infrastructure, different uh, uh, you know setup, different kind of setup, uh, uh, you know, from hosting service provider to you know hosting service provider. One of the hosting service providers could be using a different te techniques. Uh, the other could be using something else, or you know. So I'll show you in the next uh, uh, slides. Uh, so what are the major difference between cloud hosting and shared hosting uh, when a website is hosted on shared hosting the website is placed on the same server uh, as many other sites ranging from a few to hundreds so this is what uh, the condition is uh, this is what the situation is when you host uh, your website on a shared hosting service uh, such as uh, a hosting service a basic hosting from GoDaddy or uh, host gator or some other you know service providers uh, or one and one they actually host a website on a server where several other websites ranging from few to hundreds are also hosted so if there is one website among those hundred website which uh, is getting a lot of traffic uh, like you know three thousand to four thousand traffic in a day that particular website is hogging the CPU is uh, utilizing extensive memory and uh, this is what it referring to so typically in this setup all domain uh, or account share resources such as RAM and CPU from the same server and issues in one account may spill over into the other side on the same physical server so let me read that again when a website is hosted on a shared hosting the website is placed on the same server as many other sites ranging from a few to hundreds typically in this setup all domains or accounts share resources such as RAM and CPU from the same server and issues in one account may spill over into other sites on the same physical server but in cloud hosting on the other hand it offers nearly unlimited ability to handle high traffic spikes on cloud your website is hosted not only on one but on several other uh, servers connected to work as one your website don't depend uh, you know your websites uh, don't depend on only one server even if one server is uh, one server is inaccessible 
the data is retrieved and processed by the other available servers with no downtime and most of the time you are fully entitled to utilize the 100% of the resources you have been allocated. You can easily deploy the load balancing server. So load balancing server is uh, again the kind of a, uh, you know mirroring services. But it also works uh, as a uh, you know faster service providers like uh, if a website is accessed uh, throughout the world uh, and uh, you have set up a load balancer in different locations so if somebody uh, trying to access your website from Asia then he will be served that website from the nearest uh, possible server which could be located in uh, uh, Shanghai or Singapore but if a person from Frankfurt uh, is trying to access your website or from any other part of the uh, uh, Europe uh, he could be served the website from uh, the nearest location which could be um, anywhere in the Europe uh, maybe France Germany or UK so this way website is served faster and the multiple copies of webs of your same website is uh, uh, hosted in different locations so this is how load balancer work uh, also if you know one of the particular if one of the servers is getting a lot of traffic uh, then the uh, load can be distributed to other servers website can sometimes be served from the other nearest possible location which could be uh, New York and uh, you know sometimes website uh, to a New York user could also be served from uh, uh, California if, if uh, you know the traffic to the New York server is too high then it might be served from the California based server so this is how load balancer actually works okay so in this picture uh, this is uh, uh, from Atlantic.net uh, the original source of the picture in this picture they tried to show you uh, the backend or uh, you know typical setup of a cloud hosting services so as per them cloud hosting is a server and network infrastructure that uses software to divide a single physical server into multiple virtual servers so that exactly uh, how it works so it is true so in this picture you can see there are two physical server in the back end and they all are divided into multiple virtual server each virtual server is actually uh, given to a particular user so when you subscribe to uh, cloud hosting services from uh, uh, any cloud service provider you are actually given a virtual machine uh, a virtual server which is uh, a part of the original physical server in the back end so whatever resources you are, have been allocated it has been pulled from the physical server and you are entitled to utilize the hundred percent of that resource uh, like memory or you know uh, hard drive uh, or traffic uh, so it totally you know they have several other software set up which you monitor uh, the traffic and uh, the utilization of resources and usage accordingly they charge you so if you are in uh, allocated a memory of 2 uh, gigabyte uh, which is 2 gigabyte RAM your website is entitled to utilize that 200% there there is not a problem there is never a problem that other website uh, is also sharing the memory that you are using uh, there could be some other cloud hosting service provider who are also providing shared based cloud hosting but particularly in such uh, in this video the hosting providers that we are going to talk about they are actually provide dedicated uh, resources to you so it's actually a dedicated virtual server that you will be given when you sign up so you can deploy uh, you know any kind of services that you are actually developing or you want to uh, so you are getting a virtual machine and you will be managing it yourself so you know in from installing software to deploying SSL and deploying email servers all everything has to be done by you because you have the full access to that servers you have the root access uh, which is also called SSH access uh, shell access and uh, you have every uh, you know information about that virtual server you can log in there you can install any software you want uh, you have all the privilege
all right so let's move on to the next one the top benefit of cloud hosting it is time saving and you can go global in minutes with the help of cloud hosting you can easily deploy your application in multiple region around the world with just a few clicks you can start your business immediately as you don't need to make large upfront investments in hardware and uh, spend a lot of time on the heavy lifting of managing that hardware provisioning of new server is also instant and only you know you only pay for what you use Uh, safety rather than being hosted on one single instance of a physical server hosting is delivered on a virtual partition which draws its resources such as disk space from an extensive network of underlying physical servers as we saw in the last picture and uh, if one of these server goes offline it will have no effect on availability as the virtual servers will continue to pull resources from the remaining network of servers and thus information hosted in the cloud is protected against hardware failure because cloud servers distribute data across redundant servers reliability cloud hosting is more reliable than shared hosting where issues in one account may spill over in two other sites on the same physical server cloud hosting isolates each server ensuring that possible stress on one does not affect another server's performance it also makes data backup disaster recovery and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud providers network scalability scalability is one of the most sought after features in cloud hosting and almost every provider support this the benefit of cloud computing services include the ability to scale its resources as per the real time requirement so when your company grows so grows your users uh, website visitors and um, you know volume of sales you can expand or reduce server servers all its resources in seconds to ensure that the server keeps up with the demand without wasting money time and uh, resources unnecessary resources adding new server or upgrading current o offering is just a click away no complicated engineering skill required and there is no downtime you simply select the plan upgrade it uh, or just click add additional storage you select a block of a storage like 10 gigabyte and that is added to your support plan your your hosting plan and uh, the bandwidth is uh, almost utilized you want to increase the bandwidth you upgrade the plan immediately and which will be effective uh, in a second uh, in few seconds actually and there is no downtime you do not need to restart the server or you know reboot it or reprovision it or do anything you know do not back up and restore the site nothing such you have to do cost effective cloud hosting services are based on pay as you go basis so you are charged only for the resources you use hosting costs are measured per hour to provide the most control over the hosting budget additionally some providers offer affordable bandwidth pricing ensuring that certain traffic spike do not drive up the money bill so you are never you know your services are never stopped even if you have utilized the uh, uh, you know available pool of resources or uh, probably if you have been given a traffic bandwidth of one terabyte and your website has utilized the total bandwidth in just 10 days your website would still work the additional uh, gigabyte will be charged on a different price as mentioned in your contract so your site will never be stopped as uh, being served it will always run and responsive load balancing is the other uh, benefits as we already explained about cloud hosting uh, services where we can install load balancer so cloud hosting provider also uh, gives you an option to select affordable load balancing features you can deploy the same copy of website on different servers at different location and distribute the traffic and so resource load share uh, some of the major cloud hosting providers as per their feature pricing and quality are as follows vulture we have uh, used vulture atlantic almost every one of the, them excluding uh, you know amazon elastic compute too uh, which is the best one I, though amazon is providing uh, a one year of free service uh, for testing and uh, deploying uh, but it's actually a little bit costly as compared to other one vulture is the best one as you know we have been using it for almost two years and uh, it is faster uh, scalable and uh, 
very supportive if you need any support they are always available Atlantic is again another reliable faster and uh, is a US best company uh, DigitalOcean is also uh, another one which is famous Linode is another famous uh, cloud service providers but uh, uh, doesn't provide a one click app installation um, you know as compared to the other three uh, but it's still if uh, you know if you do not have knowledge of, uh, of Linux and commands you still have another option like you can choose to uh, deploy uh, servers and WordPress from a cloud uh, server manager uh, such as uh, server pilot or moss.sh or maybe cloudways so let's move on to the uh, next topic how to install uh, uh, wordpress on vulture so for vulture you simply need to go to vulture.com uh, and sign up there uh, in this uh, videos description I have also included a link uh, for vulture sign up if you sign up using that link you will also be you may get ten dollars uh, as a uh, referral bonus uh, so you can try that link and uh, sign up now let me log in here it is very simple installing WordPress on a cloud server so I'll just log in uh, to my vulture account when you log in, when you sign up, uh, you will get to uh, the same screen as I am right now, and you will have a plus button there deploy new server. So, if you click on server, I already have one server running here. Uh, whenever you want, you can destroy it. Click on this. Uh, if you do not want to be built or if you're not choosing the server, you can either stop server, which will shut shut it down. Uh, you can restart the server you can reinstall server with different softwares or you can destroy it completely if you do not want to be charged you can just simply click on destroy server so as long as your server is deployed uh, even if it's not running even if it's shut down you would still be built for the services uh, so let me go and uh, deploy a new server to show you how the servers are deployed and how you can install a one click app uh, WordPress app so Vulture provides you option to deploy several software several other softwares uh, content management system to cPanel and other uh, you know hosting managing software so f the first section says uh, select the location um, you can select the location that best fit for you uh, I would go with uh, let's say Los Angeles or maybe New York and then uh, you have server type uh, select the operating system here you have to take a look uh, which operating system or application you would like to install so if you select operating system you would uh, you know once you click here you would be given option uh, which version so Ubuntu 16.04 is the best one because uh, it is being supported by several uh, uh, server manager and there are a lot of uh, uh, support articles available it's a free software and uh, a lot of communities are there who can help you so you can select 16.04 uh, 64 bit Ubuntu or probably CentOS any one of them as per your requirement even Windows are available uh, you may be charged additionally for selecting Windows Server um, but the rest others are free so if you select uh, operating system from here it would only install operating system remember it will not install WordPress or any software you have to install WordPress and then web server software such as Apache or NGINX which are the uh, setup with let you run a website so there are three other softwares and uh, you know stack these are also called LAMP which is Linux Apache uh, and then uh, PHP so you have to or Linux NGINX uh, so if you go and type it in Google LAMP this is what uh, the software stack is called uh, Linux Apache MySQL which is the database software and then uh, P is uh, for PHP so you have to install this LAMP uh, software stack if you select Ubuntu operating system option but if you just want to you know if your main purpose is to install a blog or a WordPress blog or set up a WordPress blog on uh, cloud services then you have to select application tab on the top 
and then in the application you have a lot of application you can go with cPanel cPanel would cost you another $15 this is because uh, this is the standard license uh, so you, this is charged by all the service providers all the cloud service provider whosoever you select uh, to go with cPanel you have to pay additional $15 for this license and then uh, you have a lot of software so uh, I'll go with the WordPress it's right here so Ubuntu 16.04 is what I have selected um, in the operating system Ubuntu sorry Ubuntu 16.04 and then uh, go to the application here and then select uh, WordPress and now you have to choose the plan which plan you want to have you use five dollars per month gives you 25 gigabyte of uh, SSD and one CPU 1024 MB memory which is one gigabyte of memory and then one terabyte of bandwidth you will you will be billed 0 0.007 uh, dollars uh, per hour if you just use it uh, for a few hours uh, now you don't have to do a lot of thing here uh, yes if you want IPv6 to be enabled you can check uh, enable private networking block a storage compatible or to backup will be charged additionally uh, okay I don't want to enable IPv6 but if you want you can do that now the only thing you have to do here is enter a server host you can type uh, log dive test and then click deploy uh, did I select ten dollars plan let me go to select five dollars okay so the five dollars here you see that the total charge would be five dollars per month now click on deploy and this will start installing the server and the software so the server that we were installing is hog dive test and you see the status it's showing installing right now uh, it may take a minute or two maybe three five minutes maximum to get uh, it up and running okay now you got an IP address as soon as your server is installed you get an IP address this IP address is a public IP which will be given to your server and your website uh, if you have chosen to install WordPress uh, as you see the OS it shows an icon of WordPress here so your WordPress website can be accessed from this IP address directly then you can develop your website or migrate your website or connect uh, a domain to this IP address and then uh, redirect or you know re point your website your domain to this IP address and uh, this is how you can build your website or migrate your website you have to also di direct your domain you know redirect your domain to this IP address or just change the name server uh, in this video I'll also show you how you can change the name server uh, from uh, any of the you know one of the uh, the domain registrar okay so my server is running now let me go to this IP address and see what happens I'll copy this and paste it here and they should be uh, the new WordPress installation window it may take a few to okay. connect to the site is not private you have to sign in now to sign in let me try I am not sure what is the admin password uh, maybe I should check my email uh, okay. one second I'm waiting for the email email is actually sent out to my other one I have to just refresh it Cloud server is activated 
and uh, this is login to WordPress admin panel using the following credential this is the username and uh, the password so let me try this username here and the password So for the first time you need to actually uh, install the WordPress data WordPress and connect it with the database so this is uh, the basic uh, things that you have to do before your site can go live now let me type site title hog die test username uh, you can put in admin password so I want to three four five six seven eight nine uh, confirm use a weak password your email uh, is courage install WordPress WordPress has been installed thank you and enjoy click login and then uh, new username is admin password is uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine and you are logged in if you want to know how your website looks if you want to see how it looks just open it in a another tab or remove the WP admin part and you would see the default WordPress installation there is it there it is and it's very fast try to go to any page So this is how we install WordPress on uh, Vulture and if you want to point your domain to Vulture you need to go to Vulture uh, server first open the server click on the server name or click manage we may still be finishing installing booting of the first few minutes of active windows thing. Okay. alright so your WordPress server details are mentioned here as well uh, exact the same information that was sent to me uh, by email now let's go to settings so this is the main IP gateway and other details you can um, scale your server you know like I said if your traffic if your company grows this is how you can actually uh, change the plan you can change your plan or as you can upgrade to one CPU virtual CPU 2 gigabyte of RAM and 40 gigabyte of disk and 2 terabyte of transfer with $10 plan or you can switch to $20 plan which gives you two virtual CPU 4 gigabyte of RAM 60 GB of hard disk and 3 terabyte of transfer once you have upgraded to this plan you then you can upgrade another higher plan of you know which are available to this uh, also you can change OS here but changing OS will uh, wipe out uh, you know the whole hard drive change application is also possible you can you know install another application by removing WordPress here is the DNS part if you want to point your domain to this server you go to the DNS section and then select uh, 
uh, vulture name server this is the first thing you have to do in s one dot vulture dot com and s two dot vulture dot com you have to change the name server um, and redirect the uh, DNS uh, queries or you know from client or from users to vulture's name server so and also add your domain here a default IP address you have to select so what is the IP address this is the IP address I want this IP address to be pointed to my domain so domain name is valley of links dot com now I'll go to the default IP put it it here I don't have to put this information then click add now once you click add you will get other information a these are the domain records a records c name mx record uh, ns is name servers now let's go to the uh, domain registrar I'm logging into the domain registrar from where I bought this domain uh, login alright so here is my domain uh, click on the domain name and I uh, just need to change the name server to vulture name server record to which are ns1.vulture.com and ns2.vulture.com let's go to name server section and uh, remove this from here one dot vulture dot com and ns two dot vulture dot com update name server updating name server may take few minutes or about an hour to reflect let me close the new name server has been updated um, if I go to another browser let me try so this is my domain alright so let's uh, try to access uh, the same website using its domain name so I'll just try to open a new browser and uh, type the URL valleyoflink.com valleyoflinks.com and you see the website is just open and the uh, same one click on the post you will see it so this is how we install uh, WordPress on Vulture uh, and uh, you can similarly install any other application that you want now in the next video I will be showing you how to install WordPress on uh, Atlantic.net and Linode uh, which are the other two major uh, cloud hosting service providers so till then uh, if you have any questions you can uh, uh, comment in the uh, section below the video and uh, hope you have enjoyed this video uh, feel free to ask any question thanks for watching have a wonderful day ahead.